Sanukai Energy Foundation was actually inaugurated in 1988 and that's a time when in Sankor we've always believed very much in terms of the community, supporting the communities in which we live and work and uh, we wanted to bring a much more disciplined approach into our giving which we really thought was more our investments in, in our communities and so we started Sankor Energy Foundation. We actually at that time organized ourselves to focus in on three strategic areas. One was education, the other was the environment, and the third was community. So uh, that's what we did. And then after about 12 years of, of, of giving and investing in, um, in many, many um, uh, charities across the, uh, the country, we decided it was time for us to also look at how we need to reinvent our strategy. And we look particularly at Fort McMurray because this is a very, very important home for Suncor. You know, we intend to be here for a very, very long time. In fact, I'm thinking we're looking at the next hundred years. And so we really want to make sure that the way in which we invest and partner with this community is sustainable. So our strategy that we have reinvented uh, is to add uh, to uh, some of the traditional things we've been doing, which is to respond uh, to the needs of a community, but to move much more into the area of getting to be strategic partners. So where is it that we should invest? How do we think about what's needed in the community? And so we partnered with uh, Waterloo, and uh, really because of their reputation in terms of helping to build sustainable communities, to say how do we get people here involved to talk about the issues here and how we might go uh, forward together in a very proactive way to be able to say uh, where should we be investing, uh, in what places we should be investing, and what initiatives we should be investing to be able to build that shared sustainable energy future in Fort McMurray. The Suncor Energy Foundation has been working on uh, how we will uh, make investment in community in the future and, and are looking at, at that long-term viewpoint of, of how we get engaged in community. And as part of the work, as we looked at that program, was starting to look at where are the real thought leaders around innovation, social innovation, community development in Canada. And uh, it didn't take us very long to be able to find that the, the thought leaders uh, were coming out of, of the Waterloo area. So what the University of Waterloo people have is a lot of information and data and some good comparison points. And what people here in Wood Buffalo have is an incredible amount of passion and need to get to some of those answers. So I think the combination of the two is going to really work well. We've involved a number of different people in, in finding out what are the issues and we've established five different action learning teams to really delve deeply into the issues of the nonprofit sector. Our goal of course is to increase the capacity of the nonprofit sector to meet community needs and also improve their social impact. So it's an exciting project that has a real opportunity to make a big impact in Wood Buffalo. We've introduced an array of workshops um, that are meant to uh, build the capacity of the nonprofit sector and increase their um, professionalism and their uh, understanding of a number of different topics. And these include board governance, we've done rapid improvement, um, um, technology planning, and um, board governance and strategic planning and there's lots of other ones that uh, the community has asked us to to provide and we're, we're looking for feedback this is a very much a community driven effort and so we look to the nonprofit sector to tell us these are the kinds of workshops or the training that we're interested in, in doing. But we're also very interested in partnering with Keanu College and the Nonprofit Sector Link, Volunteer Wood Buffalo, and lots of other organizations who are already engaged in offering capacity building workshops. Um, because we believe very strongly we don't want to reinvent the wheel, but we really want to support all and help everyone rise. As you sort of think about the Fort McMurray Wood Buffalo project and the University of Waterloo's role in it, um, I guess the one thing I'm, I'm thinking about more than anything else is I don't want people to lose sight of the potential. Uh, this is not a research project at the University of Waterloo. It is not a collaborative, cooperative initiative between Waterloo Region and Waterloo. It's not Suncor Community Foundation working with us on the development of the nonprofit sector. 
Obviously, it's all of those things, but it's actually something much, much bigger and much more important. Canada is facing a very uncertain future, as is every other part of the world. We're in a globalized economy, fast changing, um, subject to all sorts of whims of, of uh, global economies and prices and things of that sort. Uh, we saw not so long ago, 2008, December, uh, the city of Fort McMurray suffered through a very sharp decline because of the global economic crisis. Oil and gas prices fell very dramatically and the community suffered almost, almost instantly. So, we are living in uncertain times and the only thing I think the future is going to show is that these were stable compared to where we're going to be five and ten years sort of down the line. So what we have here is to pick up on these marvelous partners we have in Waterloo, Tamarack, SIG, um, other universities and also with the folks in Wood Buffalo, Fort McMurray and Suncor to actually start developing processes that help our communities cope, help our communities respond with thoughtful, meaningful, carefully considered action and so this project in my mind is the kind of thing that, that, that provides a completely different model for how universities engage with their communities and how communities engage with each other. And you know, if we can be somewhat successful, you know, even I'm a very optimistic person, and I don't, but I, even I don't expect we're gonna do all the things all at the same time and all at once. To the degree that we're successful, we can be an exemplar for other universities and other communities and for the country as a whole for coping with and responding to the social challenges of our day because they're not going to go away and in fact they could get significantly more challenging as time goes forward. So in this process, which is so exciting and so dynamic and has so many interesting exciting partners on its own, just think of what we can learn about how to sort of change society for the better through this particular project and how we can hold this out to other people to sort of demonstrate to them that there are ways of solving community problems using universities as key elements in this whole process. And that part gets me really excited. I just hope we hold on to that vision, that sense of excitement for a very long time. I am, I am just so excited to see this project finally moving into this next phase. Uh, we've been talking about it and it's one thing to talk about it and do the research and, and talk about how we think we can bring people together. It's incredibly exciting to actually start to see people coming together, learning from each other, and, and sort of setting these, these next wheels in motion. Well, this is an amazing partnership. Uh, uh, there seems to be a lot of similarities between Waterloo and, and Wood Buffalo, and um, we're all faced with different challenges. So we can share ideas and share, uh, there's a wealth of experience uh, there. Um, we tend in Wood Buffalo to try and do things a little bit differently, so we're always looking at new ideas. Um, how can we be more effective and how can we have a, a, great, a greater impact on the clients that we serve um, and just really the citizens that we serve. We're going at the speed of sound and uh, we need to um, move forward uh, as efficiently as possible. So uh, the fact that this group from uh, University of Waterloo is, is helping to facilitate this um, there's a wealth of experience there and it's appreciated by everyone in the community. The partnership with the University of Waterloo is, and Wood Buffalo is fantastic. It's really raising the visibility and awareness of nonprofits in our community and I am so engaged in the process and so happy that they're continually educating us and networking with us and making us better professionals. Well I'm really excited because we're being taught the skills and then we can go forth into our community rather than a consultant coming into our community, surveying, getting the information and then just regurgitating what we've told them. Like we're the experts within our own community. So with Waterloo, we're being taught those skills. We can go forth, build our strategic plans, which actually fosters a better community that we live in rather than an outsider coming in and telling us or assisting us and in building the plans, so, so it's actually building our skill level that we can bring the bring it forward. The Wood Buffalo Community Building Project has been, I think, is very helpful with the not-for-profits. Uh, it's giving them resources that they may not have been able to afford, uh, giving them direction that they can move forward with, uh, and it's empowering them to work on their own. This is the beginning of big changes, which will make Fort McMurray right up there on the map and I'm excited about that and I can see that not only is Waterloo one of the things that's happening here like the Wood Buffalo Community Building Project as it is now called 
but also the uh, municipality has pitched in with lots of infrastructural projects. So everything is happening at the same time. And we can really feel that everything is happening here in Port Macquarie. And now it's a happening place. <laughs> The partnership and the project is really starting to have some impacts. People are really noticing changes in our nonprofit sector and they're appreciating the access to some really interesting and relevant personal and professional development workshop opportunities. And really overall, that's one of our main goals. And we know that to build the capacity of the people and the organizations in our community, that's where we need to focus. And it's really making an impact already.